Welcome to another What's New video for WorkNC 2019 R1. In this video, we will show you the reintroduction of the tangent to curve bottom up strategy. Here, we have a part that is ideal for a tangent to curve toolpath utilizing a T slot cutter. We would like the toolpath to start at the bottom of the part and work its way up to the desired level. Let's create a tangent to curve toolpath. Expand window by a value large enough to allow the tool to get outside of the part. Now we need to set up the tool information. We will get a T-slot cutter from the tool library. To find the curve selection. Because the curve is underneath the geometry, we need to define a point for the side of curve to machine. The tool needs to get outside of the part, so we will add a tangency extension. We need to measure the z-height of the curve. Now we know the z-height is 30, we can set the curve machining parameters. Activate multiple passes. The reference z will be set to a given z-value. The given z is equal to the z of curve minus the tool cutting length plus the z-step value. Set the toolpath to start at the given z. Set the total machining depth. In our case, we are machining from the bottom of the part to the curve for a total machining depth of 30. Then set the Z step. To force the toolpath to run from the bottom upwards, the Z step must use a negative value. If you want to use a stock allowance in Z with the bottom up option, the stock value must be negative. Adding a stock allowance in Z will affect the total machining depth. You may want to adjust the total machining depth accordingly. For our example, we will leave the value at zero. Confirm the parameters and execute the toolpath. We can see the lowest pass of the toolpath is at the bottom of the part and the highest pass is at the curve. We can simulate the toolpath to see that it starts at the bottom and works upwards. Thank you for watching this What's New video for 2019 R1. Oh,